or less early in the in the marina area just driving around just so probably where I will be able to load my boat in but I don't know actually I, I will wait for my mate to arrive we agreed to meet here well somewhere here that will do me I can see the water I will wait for my mate Ian to arrive it's Saturday morning and I'm going fishing actually I, I arrived by the marina where I will be fishing and I hope you can see in the shot that I have straps in the inside of my car and obviously it means that I have my kayak on the top or on the roof of my car and we will be fishing off the kayak so at the moment I'm waiting my mate to arrive and we will try to catch some big predators anyway but this little bit is not about big predators actually the opposite prey fish so yesterday I had one of the best days when it comes to catching silverfish bream and roach and rod on lures and uh, it was very very important to see the fish so you would be able or I was able to present the lure in a correct way and good quality Polaroids is a must for that kind of fishing so yeah I think I'm done talking let's go back a little bit in time and see how I did in that canal yesterday Right guys, I just arrived at the canal, which is very, very clear. I can see the bottom through my Polaroids very well. Well, Polaroids. And I will try to catch some silverfish like bream and roach on tiny lures. I don't know how well you will be able to see, but those are tiny, like a couple centimeters in length. Yeah, we'll, we'll use very, very light rod, super ultra light. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Right. I can see plenty of silverfish here, lots and like roach and stuff. The most important thing when doing that kind of fishing is lure choice and presentation. Well, and location obviously, but I know now that I am around plenty of fish. They are not taking the lure, so it means possibly that the lure is not still right. Some big pike here. Wow. <laughs> Insane. Like a fish tank more or less. This canal is really. Pike is looking at that lure, I guess. Yeah, actually I got that pike on. I could not believe. <laughs> wow, I was watching that pike and and she nailed my lure. That will be fun. That will be fun television guys. It's not a very big pike, probably probably about three pounds I will say, but still <laughs> it was insane watching that pike take my tiny little lure. <laughs> and I can see everything through my Polaroid. I hope you can see it as well. It's insane. Oh no, that pike is going towards our bank of the canal. My meat, Thomas, arrived here ready to net this little creature if, if we will get to that point. Yay! Bang! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Uh, well, I, I was going for a bream and I watching that pike take the lure as well it was insane see <laughs> i will have to retie but as you can see you don't need really big lures to catch big fish well it's not big fish like big big but for that kind of tackle i am using that's a very very good fish that's a very very good pike uh no i will put it back i'm not really fishing for pike but Still, it was great fun. Let's say, yeah, three pounds maybe. Awesome. Thank you. 
still sitting here. <laughs> I was walking along the canal and I saw a couple of perch, actually three perch. They are not massive, but decent fish. Opa, I got one. <laughs> How about that, guys? That is insane fishing. And actually, it's a little bit unfortunate because I caught the smallest one. See, it, the fish nailed the lure. That's insane fishing. Beautiful canal fish on super ultra light. Awesome, thank you. A little bite, probably. Look, I found some rod, another small rod. Guys, as you can see, I have a slabadabadu. Actually, I was able to see they are, they are going like 10 of them along the bank, and then I like followed get in front of them and uh, chucked my lure in front of them and one nailed the lure. Hey Thomas, I, I can see they are going there. Chuck, chuck out your lure. Maybe you will get nice, nice, very nice cast. You, you might get one. I'm actually was watching what you are doing, not, not what I'm doing. <laughs> nice brassam, probably a couple pounds at least. As you can see, the hook is nicely in the mouth. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on, Brassam. He's mine. Yes, first Brassam of a day. I will show you where the hook is. See, there is a line. And that's my hook. Nicely, top lip. Beautiful. We'll ask my mate Thomas to take a picture. Actually, that fish is spawning. No, probably I won't take a picture. I will put it back right away. Thank you. No. Beautiful. First brassam of a day. Oh, following one is following. Grab it. Why did I stroke that hard and I lost my lure? Ah, shit. That's a proper shit. Why did I strike so hard? Mm. All right, now my mate Thomas he has something on. We don't know what is it. It is, it is a bream and the hook is in the mouth. Yes. Come to daddy. Come on, baby. Are you nervous? Of course. Yes, labadabadu. Not bad. Let's unhook it first, Thomas. Let's unhook it first. That's a good idea. I can hold your rod if you want. Yeah. Nice. I hooked nicely on the Look side. The Beautifully. Yeah, I can see. See, you changed the lure and you yeah. got one. Yeah. That. Uh, I can help if you want. Thank you. That's actually very, very friendly bream. It's not doing anything stupid so far. Uh, a little bit lower. Yeah, nice. Smile. Big smile. One more. Big smile, Thomas. Nice. Let's go. Put it back. Well done. St still swimming about here. The best thing we not climb at all. Yay! And, and and you did see the fish take the lure? Yeah. Awesome. Nice one. So they are in the mood. Just look at how many of them. As you can see, the, like, like we are a bream magnet. As you can see, like probably 20 fish at least, 20 fish. 
are in front of us now insane and they are gone they are going here okay we'll try to sneak sneak out one just here maybe he's looking he's looking i got him i came off i cannot believe all right guys we were chasing the shoal of the bream as you can see plenty of them and i just managed to hook one please mr bream stay on and i was watching how the fish took the lure as well just turned and took the lure it was awesome please stay on mr bream not a very big fish probably three pounds something like that yes bream number two actually beautiful fish dark one i like them dark ones and actually i will have to net it second time <laughs> uh, we'll show you where that hook is come on mr bream as you can see the lure is just nicely in the side bang beautiful dark fish actually good condition after spawning as well spawned well i guess everything yeah i think i will take a quick picture with this beauty thomas will you help me with the picture yes. guys i just hooked another one i did see the fish takes a lure as well and the shoal is running away actually the shoal came here nice one Please stay on, Mr. Brassen. Please stay on. Thomas is coming to take a picture for me as well. Please go into the net. Yes! Number three for today. Hey, hi, hi then. Let's see where that hook is. As you can see nicely, just just hooked. Beautiful. Clean fish as well. Oh no, actually, some white stuff is coming on out of him. Oh no, Thomas actually went away, so we are not taking the picture with this beauty very very clean fish though very aggressive as well beautiful beautiful colors in that sun thank you Whew. proper aquarium Brima coming one looking is looking at it looking ah two actually looked at the lure another one is looking come on take it ah i cannot believe this one is looking as well come on take it yes i was watching all the time all the time i cannot believe how how impressive this one was i was watching the, that bream coming like from three meters away and it just nailed the lure oh no the line tangled around the fish but it's it's hooked properly i know that because i did see yeah he untangled himself nice one that's a black fish actually very very black fish come on get in that net black fish yes i will need a picture thomas yes number four for today we'll show you where that hook is see nicely top lip hooks out I'll take a quick picture are you ready Thomas okay I'll keep the fish of the like above the water in case it will go in the water it will go in the water Thank you. Another pike. And pike is sitting there. There was three of them. 
Bream actually was hiding under the pipe probably for half a second, <laughs> just swam under. <laughs> one was following, I guess they got it. This one actually was going at at at, at the right speed. He he came in like like a like a pike or perch, like pretty pretty fast. Yeah. Please stay on, Mr. Bream. I don't want to lose another one. And Pike is following that 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 Bream. Look, as can you see it, Thomas? See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I'll try to scoop Pike and 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 maybe Bream as well. <laughs> Nearly scooped Bream and Pike. Greedy, I am greedy, I guess. Right, so number five, I guess. Nice one. And clean fish as well. Ah, no, actually, not that clean. Oh, he actually destroyed my lure. See, my lure is just barely holding. Barely holding on the line, but the hook is just in the side, as you can see, guys. I hope you can see it well. I'll try to get that hook out. Nice, the hook is out. Lucky lure. Thomas, are you ready to take one, one more pick for me? We'll keep it in the net for a while. Whilst Thomas is getting the camera prepped. He's and and he got away. Yeah, that's that's a very very look look. How about that for a for a fishing? <laughs> I I I I netted this fish. Uh, uh, that was <laughs> fish juggling. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do it once more. See guys, it's very very important to do everything above the water. The fish barely touched anything else than the water, really. Ready, Thomas? Yeah. Yeah, you got it? Yeah. Thank you. Brassam. Going back safely, yes! Pretty sure I will get a bite. Pretty sure it shouldn't take too long. One is following. No. Too many actually because one was following but it bumped into other brims, so not ideal. But I will get a bite, I'm sure of it. Shouldn't take too long. Here we go. And big one as well. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, that's the biggest of the day actually. That might be five pounds guys. That's a big slab. And I saw how it took the lure. It was insane. That's a proper slab, really, really nice fish. Don't forget that my hook link is only 0 0.10, so like 2 pounds, something like that. I have a nice little setup. My clutch is set just right, and hopefully, if all goes well for me, we will be able to land this beauty. Yeah, keep going, Mr. Bream. Boom! Yeah, that's that's five pounds, I would say. Yeah, five pounds. And my mate Thomas is away, actually. He won't be able to help with the picture. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's a proper chunk. I can't even put my hands around him. I'll show you where that hook is. Hope you can see it properly nailed in the corner here. Yes, the bubbles hook is out. 
proper slab. <laughs> Actually, that's the biggest fish out of this canal for sure. Five pounds it will be. Wow, proper slab, really, really proper slab. Decent condition as well. Thank you. Yeah, time to go back for you, little canal monster. Here it goes. Yes. Right, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed those bream taking the lure and actually I was able to record that not every single of them but some of them and those takes underwater when you actually can see bream coming and taking the lure in my like brain in my memory it etched quite well I'm pretty sure it will stay with me for, for a while so yeah thanks for watching and see you in the next one